Hello, this is Captain Jolly. I'll be speaking about cylindrical projection. Cylindrical projection which we most commonly use is Mercator projection. The second known projection is transverse Mercator projection. And then it is equal area cylindrical projection. What happens in Mercator projection can be understood with the help of the simple illustration. We have a globe that is transparent, crystal transparent and at the center of the globe there is a point lamp that is very powerful. When the light is switched on the graticules are cast it on the inner surface of the cylinder. If you see, the distance between the parallel of latitudes is equal, but as it is projected on the inner surface of the cylinder, the distance between the parallels of latitude increases, and if we want to project the polar areas, it cannot be projected. Polar areas cannot be projected. Now what happens is the distance between the two meridians actually reduces as you go towards the pole. But distortion increases as you go away from the equator. In fact, the distortion increases as secant of latitude. Now, if you look at this diagram, Obviously, the distance between the two parallels would increase as the distance from the surface increases. Distance from the globe increases to the inner surface of the cylinder. Now, this increase in distance, that is the distortion, is in the tune of secant of latitude. So, as the distance is increased vertically, the sideways distance also must increase to make the uh, projection orthomorphic. Right? So, what happens is, as you go more and more north, the vertical stretching also takes place and transverse stretching also takes place so that the meridians are parallel. This projection is orthomorphic projection. Now, mathematically, there are two approaches to make to construct the Mercator chart. One is you are given the natural scale in a particular latitude. Yes, from there you find out what is the distance between the two adjacent latitude in that particular. Uh, parallel of latitude, from there you find out what is the value of meridional part. Another approach is you are given the value of one meridional part on that Mercator chart and from there you construct the chart using the meridional parts for different parallels of latitude. We will see that later on uh, where we will uh, deal with construction of Mercator chart. Right now we are just glancing over these projections. Transverse Mercator chart. Transverse Mercator chart actually means the cylinder is turned 90 degrees. For example, if this is the globe, instead of cylinder being uh, tangenting the equator, cylinder would now tangent one of the meridians and inferior meridian. So that the areas which are within a narrow band of the tangenting meridian and inferior meridian they are very accurately projected. Now you know wherever the cylinder is tangenting the globe, the projection will be very accurate, distortion will be very small. Now, now this projection is used for a detailed surveys, research etc. Now advantage of this projection over normally used Mercator projection is you can actually cover the entire globe. You can turn the globe and you can tangent it along any meridian that you want. Now, one thing for sure, the global coverage in this Mercator projection is not possible. Yes, this projection is useful to project the areas around the meridian. Actually, if you see the projected area, the meridians would appear like this. And everywhere you will see that the meridians are perpendicular to the parallels of latitude making the projection orthomorphic. These are the northings, this is the central meridian, these are the eastings. 
Distortion is just 0.4% as you go 5 degrees away from the central meridian and it increases just to 1.5% when you go 10 degrees away from the central meridian. So if you have covered a band of 10 degrees around the central meridian, the maximum distortion which can go on a transverse mercator chart is just about 1.5%. The third type of uh, projection under the cylindrical projection is equal area cylindrical projection. What we do in this and how we can understand with the help of the light and shadow is as follows. If these are parallels of latitude, meridians, In equal area cylindrical projection, instead of point source of light, it's a cylindrical projection, but instead of point source of light, we have entire axis as a source of light. What is projected on the inner curvature of the cylinder is equal area cylindrical projection. So what we'll find if we open up the cylinder, what we'll find is equidistant meridians but if you look at the parallels of latitude as you go towards the pole the distance between the parallels would decrease but you can project the entire globe on it right so this is called equal area projection although it is called equal area projection but the shapes are very badly distorted